All right, welcome back, guys. Um, we're cruising just over the Pacific Ocean now. We're um, seven and a half hours into the flight time. We're just about here over the Pacific Ocean. What I'll start doing is a bit of uh, descent preparation um, for our landing into Anchorage. Uh, one of the first things we do uh, when we begin this phase of the flight is we get the ATIS. Uh, so you can see right now, um, pretty light winds in Anchorage. It's uh, There's a little cloud cover at about 7,500 feet. We use the OPT function, uh, that's a Boeing tool. So I've pre-filled it out here, but um, as per the ATIS, it's runway 07 right in Anchorage. So we're expecting to land on runway 07 right, and you can see the distances for each one of the exit points. So we got Golf, Echo, Delta, and that basically says we need 9,900 9, um, feet of landing distance uh, to vacate at Echo, 10,200 at Delta. Once I've determined that, I know I want Auto Brakes 2, I'll select Auto Brakes 2. You'll see it enunciated on the ICAS here, so that's Auto Brakes 2. Uh, and then we plan to va vacate via Delta, expect a clearance to cross 7 left, and once we've crossed 7 left, we go on Delta, Kilo, Golf 1 to our parking bay of Romeo 8. Uh, you can see a lot of red here. Um, that basically means um, Code F aircraft unable to use these uh, these parking bays. There's only two Code F, Code F aircraft in the world right now. It's the 747-8 uh, and the A380. Um, the 777-9 is was going to be a Code F aircraft. It's usually determined by the wingspan, but uh, so that it could fit into all parking bays that the current 777-300ER can fit into. They that's why you have the, the folding wingtip. So it makes the 777-9 and 8 uh, a Code E aircraft instead of a Code F aircraft. So expecting ILS-07 right via the Neil 6 arrival into Anchorage. So the Neil 6 will basically come over some high terrain. Hopefully we get to see a little bit of it on the way down and then um, over the water here. And then we uh, intercept the ILS for... Zero seven right. Any questions? Anything to add? Uh, no, that's good. All good right. Thirteen point four. We know about the closures. Yeah, good. No questions. Check. Uh, descent checklist. Descent checklist. Recall. Checked. Notes. Checked. Auto brake. Three. Landing data. VRF thirty one five five minimums three three two. VRF thirty one five five minimum three three two. Briefing. Completed. Descent checklist complete. Check. So two minutes before we get to the top of descent, we get an alert just, just tells us reset MCP altitude. Just come up now. It comes up as an FMC message. And if you look on the scratch pad, it says reset MCP altitude. It's essentially saying you're approaching your descent point TD on there. So you need to reset your altitude to be able to descend. So I'll call uh, ATC now and request descent. Anchorage Cafe 2090 Heavy, request descent. Heavy 2090, descent about stretch to maintain 1, 3,000, thank you, Delta Enderty 963. Descend at pilot's discretion, maintain 1, 3,000. Anchorage altimeter 2963, Cafe 2090 Heavy. That's 1, 3,000? 1, 3,000. And at the descent point, you get the Vina path pointer as well appears. Bus comes off, opens in the descent. Anchorage approach, Cathay 2090 Heavy, approaching Neil for the Neil 6 arrival. Cathay 2090 Heavy, Anchorage approach, man altitude maintained 6,000. Cathay 2090 Heavy is still on the stand, set the localizer. Cathay 2090 Heavy, negative. I'll give you a turn to join the localizer and confirm your reducing speed to 210. A firm, we're passing 220 knots now towards 210. And that uh, Cathay 2090 Heavy, Roger. Reduce speed to 170 now. Reduce speed 170 knots, Cathay 2090 Heavy. Flaps 10. Three checks, flaps 10. Flaps 20. Three checks, flaps 20. Giant 8827 Heavy, descend and maintain 6,000. Cat A twenty ninety heavy turn right heading zero six zero intercept the seven right localizer. Turn right heading zero six zero intercept the seven right localizer. Cat A twenty ninety heavy. Okay, heading zero six zero. Zero six zero. Locking at three up Romeo reduce Check. speed to one seven zero. Uh, we're still about three miles. Number three off Romeo was that an affirmative? 
30, 20, 10. Chops in position, park rate is set on blocks at 1 8, nil defects. Okay, copy that. Uh, what block time at 1 one 8 and black set at what's good new defects. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Chops in position, the band's in position. Yeah, affirmative. Thank you. Shut down okay. checklist. Shut down checklist. Shut down checklist complete. Check. Okay, guys, uh, so we're here. This is Anchorage. We've just arrived. Dushan here did a good job. Uh, nice landing, Thank by the way, Dushan. So we've just shut down. The airplane's now all killed. We put the uh, navigation system, the IRS, off. And uh, park brake is set. The APU is now controlling the airplane as far as the power goes. And um, once we've done that, we usually shake hands and say, good job, nice Thank flight. Sector. Thank yeah. you. And, uh, Thanks, Gary. Thanks yeah. very much. We uh, complete the uh, maintenance log which is an electronic one. And then we make sure we close the flight on the uh, EFB. The flight is closed and uh, we're ready to go home. So th the next thing is uh, we're, we're flying again um, tomorrow evening back to Hong Kong. Still Dushant and myself. And uh, of course Milos will be here to do his filming and, and all that. So it will be done. 
question. None. Bishop, 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 how long have you been on the uh, 747? I've been on the fleet for seven and a half years. I joined seven and a half years ago, and I've been on the jumbo the whole time. Obet uh, trained me when I first joined um, as a second officer, and then when I did my upgrade to first officer as well, uh, Obet did me did my first uh, four sectors as a BTC. Every uh, upgrade in Cathay, you need to do four sectors with a BTC, which is the highest level of uh, check and training captain. And Obet's been one for uh, I don't know how many years. <laughs> for Yonks. See, for Yonks, he's 20, old. <laughs> twenty years or something. Yeah. Yeah. More than twenty years. Yeah. And uh, for me. This this aeroplane is very special because this was the last Boeing 747-8 delivered for Cathay Pacific in 2016, and I did that delivery flight. So its first landing in Hong Kong was on the old runway 25 right, and I did that landing. So it's my baby, LJN, and yep. um, there's a special place for it for me. She's yeah. as old as my career in Cathay. In Cathay just yes. after I joined, yeah. uh, Obed delivered it to Hong Kong, and I did one of the first flights to Anchorage. Yes. It smelled new. It felt yes. new. And Very now nice. she's seven years old. Yeah. Still the newest in the fleet, so it's yeah. still good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, next up, the hotel. Later. Thank you.